Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hope you're all doing well. I am here with another Bible study. So just a quick one about the Armor of God. Now, the name of the channel is Daily Armor of God. And I named it that because I love Ephesians 10 through 18. I love, love, love it. And I've always wanted to do a video on this. I always wanted to do um, to research this, and, and I just love this the, the subject. And I love the parallels that Paul gives um, when explaining each piece. So I wrote this uh, article, and I wanted to make a video and talk about it and go through it with you, uh, share my views, opinions, and thoughts about everything, and uh, uh, just give you guys some verses and some in-depth analysis actually my in-depth analysis <laughs> is in another video if you guys uh, this is just a quick showcase of the armor of god if you guys want to see a full in-depth video guess what i made one and it's entitled the whole armor of god i'll put a link down in the description um, i go way more in depth in that video way more in depth it's way longer and i go piece by piece of each of each of the armor and i give lots of verses to help understand each piece uh, so please check that out. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, I spent a little while on it, uh, with God's help, <laughs> of course. And I really just want people to see it and um, hear the message. Um, and my only hope is that it'll be a blessing and a help to somebody somewhere at some time. So um, please check that out and let me know what you think. Like, like I said, this is just a quick study. I don't know if I should call it the Armor of God quick study or or what I'm going to call it. But this is just a quick one. And in the next video, that I'll put the link in the description, will be a full in-depth analysis. So let's just get started right to it. I'm trying to make this as short as possible for you guys. I know people like short videos. So the Armor of God. So the armor of God is six pieces of armor that we as Christians must put on every day spiritually. Now, Paul is writing in Ephesians, and he mentions them, uh, the pieces of armor, in 6, 10 through 18. He describes how the first century Roman uh, army prepares to fight real battles, uh, real flesh and blood with real armor. He goes in depth, Paul goes in depth, to compare each piece of the armor to something us Christians must apply to our lives and our spiritual battles every single day because we are always at war with the forces of darkness in the spiritual world we are always always at, at war um, so we need to be prepared a real spiritual battle that's been going on since the fall of Lucifer we cannot see this battle but we can sometimes feel it now right now right this very second and maybe even in front of your very eyes, there is a war going on in the spiritual world. We are living in both the spiritual and physical world. So, we need to be prepared to help safeguard our spiritual uh, walk with God. So, how do we fight this evil? Well, only one thing. We have to put on the armor of God. So, we're going to look at each piece of the armor, verse by verse, and how each piece helps us. And combined makes us stronger to fight our daily battles. And like I said, I just want to reiterate this one more time. This is just going to be a quick study. So I encourage you all to please check out my video entitled The Whole Armor of God. Where it goes in depth. Uh, and it's an in depth analysis. So I hope you guys have a chance to check that out. Thank you for uh, for checking it out. Thank you for checking this one out. So here, here let's get started. So verse by verse. So Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Uh, so I did the verse, as you can see, the actual verse is in green, and my writing is in black. So, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. That's the first. Verse 10. We must have faith in God and his strength. Depend on him and him alone. All right? It's pretty self-explanatory. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Boom. There you go. That says it all, really. All right, verse 11, we put on the whole armor of God, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. We must fight the devil, resist temptations, and all negative things, because they are surely influenced by the devil. 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rules of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So... We are in a very spiritual world, guys, 
and there are battles going on constantly behind the scenes. The devil and his minions are very real and are all around us. Evil is everywhere in every aspect of humanity. And they want nothing more than to see us go to hell with them. Because they know they're going to hell. They know. 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. We must equip ourselves with the armor by praying always, reading, studying the Bible, and living for God. Keep the word in your heart. Pray that the Holy Spirit will um, guide you and that verses will pop out at you and memorize and study those verses. If a certain verse pops out to you when you're reading the Bible, highlight it, reread it, and reread it again, and write it down and type it out. That's what I do. Keep it in your heart. 14. Stand there for having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness. We need to stand up to evil and injustice. We need to stand strong in the Lord and our faith. And I have uh, here in this lighter green color um, a companion verse. Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. I just love that verse so much. I just love that verse. So, we must stand up and we have to realize that God is always with us. Alright, 15. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. See Timothy 2.15. It's another companion verse. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Another verse I really love. We need to study. We need to study and be prepared. If we study God's word, we will be prepared with the gospel of peace. And we need to remember the gospel, which is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That is the gospel, guys. That is the gospel. All right, 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Faith is the biggest one on here, I think. Without faith, we are exposed to anything and everything the devil is conniving. Exposed to Satan, demons, evil, and fleshly desires and temptations. So, we must have... Actually, we must. I go into detail on this on my other video. But we have to have faith on God's faith. So, it's God's faithfulness is actually what we're trusting in and having faith in. Um, and believing it is God's faithfulness faithfulness to us that is what we are having faith on so we have to have to have faith 17 and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God the helmet helps keeps us and keep the knowledge in our minds knowledge of what we study in the Bible and how we can use that to help other uh, others to Christ and help ourselves spell that wrong flee temptation <laughs> so sorry about the spelling mistakes uh but uh, you you get what i'm saying we have to st basically again study we have to know and keep our minds sharp and be sober and alert like it says in the bible be sober and alert um we have to be on guard and then 18 praying always with supplication with prayer and supplication in the spirit watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. So who are the saints? It's Christians. We have to pray for others as well as ourselves. So we must always be praying. And here's another companion verse, 2136 in Luke says, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So, we need to pray always. And I have a couple more verses here for you to end it. Romans 12, 12, one of my favorite verses of all time. I have a lot of favorites, but rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing instant in prayer. Every one of those I love. We have to rejoice in hope. Our hope in God. Patient in tribulation. We must stay strong. We must be patient. We must endure in tribulation and pray to God. And again, continuing instant prayer. Always be praying in your mind, out loud. You know, give alone time to God. Be instant in prayer and always be in communication with God. So no matter what the situation in life is, we need to pray. Pray in our mind, pray out loud, pray in whispers, bringing everything before God with thanksgiving and humbleness, presenting our requests at His feet. 
We must put on the whole armor of God daily. It's a daily thing. We need our armor daily. Have faith and trust in God. Stand and fight. And again, I put Joshua 1.9 down here because I love Joshua 1.9. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Ah, oh, I just love, love, love that verse. Just, we have to trust in God and have faith in God. So, like I said, this is this was a short one, but I intended it to be short because I wanted to make a longer, in-depth one. So if you guys want to see that, please see that. I have so much more I want to say, but I'm trying to keep this really short. I have so much I want to say right now, right this very second, I want to say more. But all I can say is, please, check out my other video the whole armor of god i go into way more detail and i'm a bit more thorough and it's a bit longer so please bear with me i know it's long but please watch it please listen you know put me on in the background while you do dishes or clean the house anything <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys thank you so so much for your time and for listening and i pray that this is a blessing for you and i pray that it'll help you thank you so much hope you have a good evening morning night wherever you're at and as always TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. And remember to put on the armor of God daily. See you later, guys. Be sure to check out the whole armor of God. Take care. God bless.